Okay. So I just figured out that momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity. Or so they thought in classical physics. But what they recently or later found out, uh, early 1900s, is that, well, kind of. Except, really, momentum is equal to your velocity multiplied by the mass over the square root of 1 minus the velocity squared over the speed of light squared. So, if your velocity is the speed of light squared, the system breaks down. There's no momentum. It can't be measured. Which means basically that light is not moving. So I feel like I have a reason for that. Because it's replicating. It's not actually traveling. It's creating new ones in sequence, like charging the space around it with the path of least resistance. Um, spiratically, like a screw, and we see a two dimension of the spiral, uh, a plane of the spiral, rather. And the longer the wavelength, the slower it's replicating. So slower, obviously, is, a, is kind of a human phrase. But that's why as vibration slows down, it takes longer to get there. It's the, the impact is further apart. Anyway, uh, amplification, obviously, changes can, can, can... As long as the wavelength is static, but the thing is, amplification can change the wavelength. So light is very undulating.